So welcome to Project's weekly webinar. Today is 217 February 6th and uh, our, it's a brand new year because uh, uh, Chinese New Year just, uh, uh, we just celebrated Chinese New Year when, uh, last week and now I'm back uh, in work. So uh, all the webinar and the uh, trading reviews uh, updating will be continued uh, from today. <clears throat> and uh, I'm very glad uh, that everyone we uh, we hear uh, in our webinar tonight. So let's cover some uh, the major markets and also the uh, some future products as well. Right? Okay. So first thing, uh, what I'm going to share is about the dollar index. Okay, the DXY. So DXY touched the very good uh, support area at this level. Okay, which is. Uh, 99.43 okay and if you to be to be precise previously we have a, a gap okay look left what we have we have a very nice gap here okay so this is a gap that i'm looking for okay because this is a very uh, a gap up and break all the previous high so which means this gap is very very strong support at this level so uh, <clears throat> our conclusion is uh, as long as the DXY can maintain above this gap, it is good to buy the dollar. And look at the the <clears throat> recent uh, the movement. The DXY is in the kind of a downtrend channel, right? Yeah, it's very obvious in a downtrend channel. And however, in the downtrend channel, what do we find? The previously the market is making continue to making lower lows. Okay. See here. If this is a low, this is a high, right? Makes a lower low, lower high, lower low again, lower low again, lower high, okay, and lower low. Another lower low, okay. However, guys, if you mark this level, what do we have? Do we have a lower high or do we just have a high high? It's kind of in a higher high, right? And look here. So we have a recently just created a higher low. Right? So this is tells you that something that, yeah, the it's kind of a in a reversal, right? <clears throat> but you don't we don't want to change chase the price because the price has already moved up. Okay. However, Due to the gap, we know that this is a very, very low location because it's a very strong support. So we can treat this area as a very low and this place will be the very high. Okay, so from the low to high, do we have a possible swing back for DXY to all the way goes back to 103 level? 103, do we have a possibility that it will break the channel goes up to 103 yeah it's very very likely to do that right so since the price is approaching the low and the trend is kind of a changing right although it is still in the downtrend channel but this time it may break up the channel and have the pullback and went back goes up all the way that's quite possible so you can what we can do is we can wait patiently wait for the channel to be broken and wait for the pullback and buy, okay? And of course, what you can do is you can use the Fibonacci level to measure a 618 level to buy, okay? Because that is always be uh, helpful. Okay, you can see here, that is why DXY have some support in 99.63, it should push back to the 618, right? And it goes up all the way, okay? But do we have a guardy pattern? Is, it, is there a guardy pattern? Yes, we, we do have a guardy pattern, right? Yeah, so this guardy pattern will tell you that, yeah, if the DXY ever comes back to 99.45 to 99.23, this pattern will be completed and this very good place to buy, right? Do you agree? Okay. So 
you can either wait for the uh, godly pattern to be completed to have a very very good entry price or you can actually wait for the channel to be broken it depends on which one occurs first right wait for the channel to be broken and wait for pullback to buy it again so this is a, the two things that you can do you need to watch right but generally speaking we want to buy the dollar buy the low okay buy the low because this is a low okay buy the low and focus on the buying the dip buying the pullback all the way to 102 point uh 102 first then 103 okay are we clear if you're clear just reply me by one okay you can type one if you clear this dxy no more questions and i can move on to the next pairs okay thank you guys <clears throat> okay the next one i'm going to cover is uh, uh euro dollar okay, the euro dollar today if you after now our last friday the non-farm payroll when the euro comes back again to 1 1.0783 that is a very very good place to short right and i even published a chart in the trading view and you can see that it's a very very nice trade after we sell immediately we have our, our first target to be hit anyone trade this pair Simon, did you trade this one? David, well, wow. congratulations. Right, it has a very good trade. Yeah. Boom, hits first target. Okay. Oh, okay, you trade Aussie. Yeah, Aussie has a nice fall today as well. <clears throat> okay, so you can continue to hold this uh, short. Okay, take some profit. Wait for pullback if you want to uh, short it one more time. It's also okay. Okay, the final target will be 1.0620. Okay, and let's look at the channel. Okay, in the channel that the euro has been uh, quite bullish, right? The recent uptrend channel. And also it's just similar to the DXY, I have a downtrend channel. So euro has an uptrend channel. However, the euro fails to break the previous structure at this level. It didn't really break through. Okay, the wick is a bit long. However, it is still valid. Okay, and due to the huge re resistance area at 1.08, this whole number level is so important for the euro. So what we can expect is if the price continue to pull back, okay, I don't know where it, it will pull back to, but uh, you can use 618 or whatever, but it will possibly to break down the channel. And after the breakdown, this whole correction move will end okay just like something like uh, last time like uh, this okay the whole correction move will end okay after the correction becomes a trend continuation so continue to break slow and the euro will maintain remain the bearish trend okay to find the place if the price ever approach 1.08 okay you can short the euro okay are we what are we looking for when analyzing uh okay the nfp right okay uh nfp what you need to <coughs> trade for the nfp normally is the dollar yen okay that is a, a very very uh fast moving pairs in the non-farm payroll okay you can check that uh, uh last friday 9 30 let me just show you the time okay so this is a non farm payroll okay okay here this is a when the data release all right it has a very fast upside move and it just hit the previous structure about this zone okay so you are looking for the price action at those critical price level which we call structure so if you see a very long pin bar appears in the top structure you can sell okay and if it goes down first look at the price action at this pre, uh, price level you can buy okay so don't actually gamble in the data okay because the data sometimes will be just run in the opposite way Okay, although the data looks very, very bullish for the dollar, however, it, it just you know, goes up first and then just reversed 180 degree. Okay, so looks for the important 
price actions at this critical structure and look for their sellers dominating or buyers dominating. Okay, and another thing you need to watch is uh, gold, okay, which I'm going to cover now. Okay, let's look at the daily chart. Okay, daily chart, the gold uh, remains bullish because it just break the high. And in uh, uh, two weeks ago, we published idea that uh, we want to short the gold, okay, as long as it maintains our <coughs> below 1 to 1220 level and it has a very good job about $20 okay 200 pips and just test the previous structure here okay this is a structure that it tested okay so uh and the second time it comes back it did it really go through okay break through this level so we don't have any more reason to short the gold okay uh, have a take very small stop loss about uh, two or three dollar Okay, this is stop loss level one two two two. We just hit the stop loss and we just exit the trade. But previously we win twenty dollar. Okay, so it's okay to be stopped out because it just breaks new high. Um, means that the trend is still still maintain bullish. Okay, and right now the gold is in the daily structure here. Okay, so this is a kind of a structure very very important for the gold. Okay, from one to thirty two point seven seven to one to our. Uh, one to twenty point one five. Okay, it is inside the previous structure zone here, and let's look at the one hour chart, guys. Uh, what do we have? We have a butterfly pattern here. Okay, we have a butterfly pattern here. Okay, so this is a pattern that I'm very interested to short the gold. Okay, at this level okay one two two five to one two two seven okay ultimate place will be one two thirty point one six which is just uh, very very close the week look at the week one point six one eight level okay so this butterfly pattern tells you that it will form a reversal signal for the gold okay it, it actually makes the breakout makes a false breakout okay we call bull trap here okay because why? Because you just check DXY. Okay. You see, the DXY goes up, but the gold also goes up. So there's something must be wrong, right? Do you agree? Because generally, when DXY goes down, gold goes up. DXY goes up, gold goes down. It's negative correlation. However, today we have the dollar and the gold moved in the same direction so one side must be wrong okay and since the dxy is in a very low location the gold is in very high location so it is 90% uh, are possible that the gold is wrong guys understand so this is a correlation that we find which one is correct which one goes wrong okay DXY goes up, gold should go down, but it goes up. <clears throat> However, <clears throat> we add in the consideration of the location. We know that DXY goes up is correct because it is in the low location. By the low is good. However, the gold is already very high, it still goes up. So this one is likely to be wrong. So we can short the gold from the butterfly pattern. All right. And look at the price action here. What do we have? Do we have a bearish engulfing candle? Guys, tell me, do we have a bearish engulfing candle? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this tells you that, yeah, the price action is good for a short. Okay. So we can short the gold from 1 to 30 level and your stop loss will be just, you know, above 1 to 32. 0.77, maybe it's 1 to 34. Okay, however, that is a daily daily uh, trading range. It is a bit high for the for the for the uh, <clears throat> for the stop loss. So you can actually optimize the stop loss level by closing to the five minutes chart. Okay, let me show you how to do this. Okay, so you can see here what we have the move, for the move. Okay, goes our first time, comes back make a double top all the way break the neckline and we just have a 261a trade here right okay 
So you can short at 12280.99. All right, and a stop loss above 1230. Okay. You can see here how important for the 618 level to be react. The, the market is respecting this level. Okay. So this is a place that you go to five minutes chart to find a shorting opportunities and now you are in the money for about two dollar. Okay. Is this bearish in Garvin candle? Because I, I know that if high should be higher than previous candle and low should be lower. Um, it may, uh, actually for me, I don't care whether the high is higher. Okay, if the candle looks like this, okay. Okay, if the previous candle looks like this, I use a bar chart to give you example, all right? All right? If the bar looks like this, what we call this is a bearish outside bar, okay? Bearish outside bar. This actually is a bull trap in a week, okay? But more important is the previous low here, okay? The engulfing tells you that, yeah, there must be break the previous low, okay? Breaks previous low. So that it give you the most important criteria for the engulfing. Okay, I don't really care about whether the high is goes higher. I don't really care about this, but I care what is the low which breaks the low because previous study is a bullish candle and this one is a bearish candle. And the, then the direction totally changed. Okay, direction totally changed. So this is a signal that if the uptrend continues, it shouldn't make a lower low. That's the key point. All right. <clears throat> okay. So for the gold, okay, are uh, just pay attention to this uh, daily structure here. You mark this level. As long as the gold can be maintained below this level, okay, you are okay to find a place to short. Because look at RSI, it is in a very, very big divergence, right? And what I teach in the class is, yeah, this is a bearish divergence. Price make a high high. However, the, the RSI sign is not making a higher high, it's making a lower high, right? So this is a divergence, okay? So this divergence tells you that, yeah, the gold may have a turning point here. And if you short the gold at this range, this level, okay, your stop loss above 1 to 32. Okay, let's say I put 1 to 34, okay, and your Profit taking level at maybe 1160. Okay, look at here. That is a very, very good risk reward ratio. Okay. Sorry, I need to I need to adjust it. Uh stop one, two, thirty-four. Entries one, two, two, nine. And profit taking is 1160. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's going on? Uh, one, two, two, two. Okay, here. All right. Yep. So this will be a very, very good risk reward ratio. Wow, it's 1214, right? 1214. Okay, so uh, you can consider to take short because uh, I'm I'm not going to use this level as a profit taking level. I'm going to use the this bottom neckline here. Okay, so it's a very nice risk reward ratio for the trade of the gold short, and goes into the one hour chart or thirty minutes chart to find a good opportunities and make more you know price action for confirmation so that you have a, a better. <coughs> uh, you have a higher, higher winning possibilities, all right? Okay, so that is for the gold. Okay, and how do we confirm that the bullish is end? Guys, how do we confirm that the bullish trend is end? Similar, right, to the to the to the euro. Yeah, if the price goes down, breaks the channel, that is confirmation. Yeah breaks the channel, breaks a, this one hour channel, it breaks down, you find a pullback and it's short. And that will tell you to make a lower high, lower lows, 
channel rotation goes into the you know another direction of move. Okay, this book here the body just you just cannot you know <clears throat> maintain above the at one to two nine. Okay, so uh, compare with the DXY, DXY is in a low, the gold is in a high. So yeah, we are okay to show the gold. Okay, and then we have a we have a butterfly pattern. And we have a daily structure, very strong structure to short. Okay, so that is give our two reason to short. Pull back to the structure. Yeah, you can combine both. Okay, you can combine both. Uh, if you see here, okay, uh, let's say you take this uh, trend line because normally I don't use trend line because trend line sometimes is you know kind of a cheating, right? Uh, Okay, let me just use this one. Push back to the uh, to the trend line. However, every time we will push back to the structure. Okay, we just push back to the structure. Okay, you see this one? This one goes out of the trend line, right? But it pulls back to the structure. Okay, or this structure. So that is a very, very important. Okay, the structure. Look carefully about the structure. <coughs> Trading is a uh, key. Okay, um, let's talk about oil. Okay, oil we have a short about 54, and in our students group, I told you guys to um, short oil, right? I say oil failed to uh, break the <coughs> break the 54 level. Okay, and I asked you guys to short at 54 due to the price section here. Okay, we see a pin bar, two pin bar comes in and it pulls back again and you can short again, right? So uh, now it's already in the about you know, 30 pips profit. And look at here in 30 minutes charts, what do we have? We just have a fantastic pulls back in the 30 minutes chart, right? It breaks down this horizontal support, okay? 53.82 breaks down, okay? Big red candle close outside, pulls back, very long pin, you can short at 53.85 as well. Okay, and that is for daily trading. You can take profit already. Yep, it's just 20 pips for stop and 40 pips for, for, for profit taking. However, this time I'm going to hold the short even longer to maybe 52.74 first. So this is a level that I want to take some profit and it may even go all the way to 52.40, okay? And look at the four hour chart, okay? The oil is sideways, right? It's sideways for quite a long time, okay? So if this channel is broken, what do you, what do you can expect? It will fall dramatically, okay? It goes to all the way to 50, 51 first. So this is a support here because this channel has been sideways too many times, okay? Too long, okay? So once it breaks out, just like here, once it breaks the, the, the wedge, okay, it just goes down very quickly, okay? All right? <clears throat> Enter short now for better risk reward. You mean oil now? Or uh, well, 30 minutes charge should uh, enter here. 53.82, yeah. Gold, you want to short now? No, now you don't want to short because it is just testing the previous high. Here have some support. You don't want to short into the support. Okay, you only want to focus on short the pullback. Okay, you short the pullback, short the structure. Or the 618, okay, depends on you. Dep depends on your calculation or your method that you like to you don't want to show the low, show the high, okay? All right, okay, so uh, this is uh, something for the oil, and let's look at the sterling. Okay, the sterling, uh, uh, I think last time we mentioned that we can buy from 1.20, okay, and after after the Teresa May make a speak, the sterling just goes up and finish our target here to 1.27. It goes to the structure, so <clears throat> that is a very good trade. Okay, from 1.20 to 1.27 is uh, almost 700 pips, right? And you can see here, this is a typical uh, bull trap, right? 
price all the way goes up again, but hit in the previous structure and all the way goes back. So this is sometimes the institutional sell, okay? And we want to buy the low and sell the high, okay? So you can have a good time to short the sterling if it ever goes back to the 618 level, but uh, in this case, I will focus on this, this place. This previous structure as support now broken becomes a resistance. So <clears throat> if I want to short the study, I will wait for here. Wait for 1.2566 and short. Okay. Uh, I still feel that sterling may test the 1.2250. That is a very important support area. Also, as uh, in combined with the 618 level, you see here. It's very perfect 618 level. So Sterling, wait for the pullback to the 618 and find the price action to buy the Sterling dollar, okay? So that is uh, our strategy for the <coughs> Sterling, okay? But don't short now, you don't want to chase the price. Sell the high, buy the low, okay? So you either short a pullback here. This is pullback sell, or you buy the pullback at this level. Okay, understand? Are we clear for the story? All right, good. Let's move on. Let's look at uh, the Aussie. Okay. Um, in the last week, uh, we have come up for a time of shorting Aussie and make money, right? Yeah, we shot about a 75.80. This is the place that we shot. Okay, we shot the 618 level. Okay, make about uh, 60 pips, all right? So take some profit when it goes goes back. Okay, short it again, makes another 30 pips. And the last trade was uh, stop out. Okay, last trade was, was uh, stop out by the Australia data. Okay, yeah, because last, I think in Tuesday or Thursday, uh, Wednesday, they have uh, Australian data. Okay, yeah, February 20th, uh, February 2nd. They're very, very strong data pushed all the all the way to 0 0.77 almost, okay. However, this is a breakout, then fast pulling back, and second time goes higher, but cannot close above the previous structure. And this gives us a good time to short. And indeed, after non-farm payroll, I ask you guys to short, right? Remember, I shared my screen chart here, right? And I say, Short the Aussie based on the structure here, okay, from 0.7680 to 0.7696. Okay, you just short here and just uh, crash back when I take when I take flight back from Singapore to China, right? Uh, uh, when I was in airport, the, the price already falls down. Okay, so this gives me a confirmation that Aussie will, will go down. Okay, and look here in in the four hour chart, <coughs> we see a gap. All right, and the gap was filled by the week, retesting the structure and all the way goes down. And after two candle, this candle is very dominating. This is a very, very big move, okay? And it should actually take all the way, breaks the previous structure support here, okay? So this tells me the order may continue to go down. It may test the previous structure here 0.7592 to 0.76 level okay and remember tomorrow we have uh, uh, all the uh, we have our RBA statements right remember yeah Tuesday I think yeah let me just check their statement RBA is interest rate decision you need to pay attention to these fundamental uh, events, okay? So tomorrow, just checking their economic calendar, their Australian interest rate comes in at 11.30, okay? Uh, forecast will be the equal to the previous, so there's no, no uh, so-called no action taken by the RBA, but you know, we have some statement. So let's just pay attention to the statement. And generally speaking, I feel that the, uh, because recently the Aussie has already goes up very very high, so it may be that this time the RBA will have some dovish, kind of a dovish uh, 
statesman to make the all the ghosts back down. Okay. Yes, on daily chart there is a cipher pattern here. Yes, you are right. It is a cipher pattern. Yeah. So uh, we have a cipher pattern here. It's true. You are right here. About uh, zero point seven sixty forty six. Yeah. So all the uh, complete cipher pattern, and it just uh, uh, forms a very bearish candle. So this tells me that yeah, it has a turning point here. Okay. And to confirm the turning, you need to uh, make the you know to to just to make sure that it breaks the trend line. Okay. Break the trend line to confirm the bearish, and you want to sell the high, sell the high, sell high. Okay. So the next thing is. Wait for the Aussie to break the line, pulls back, and focus on sell. Focus on sell. Okay, you can sell all the way to the previous low. Okay, that is what something we want to do. Okay, all right. Okay, let's talk about Canada. Uh, the Canada has a very <clears throat> awkward move. It goes up, goes down, and all the way V shape, and another V shape. Right, it's a kind of a, you know ranging market, but it's uh, ranging too wide. Okay, <clears throat> however, 1.30 level is very very important. We can see here we have a pin here, we have another pin here, we have a support here, we have one two three four four times kind of a testing but fails to break lower low, and today the dollar cat just goes up. So this may tell us the dollar cat is good to buy at 1.30. Okay, so this is something what we can do. Okay, buy the low, buy it when it approach 1.30. Okay, buy the pullback if it has. Okay, and aim to a previous high. So that is a very good trade for the cat. Okay, you mean dollar yen at 120, 120 or 112, Jonathan. One two okay, um, okay for the dollar yen, uh, what I will suggest is is still kind of in a bearish uh, movement, right? Because the low has been violated here. Okay, you can see here the one one two point sixty is already you know violated. Okay, and is approaching the previous structure the one 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 point forty to one one two. Okay. So, uh, if you want to buy, it's okay, uh, but I will wait for it to test 1.60 1, 1, 1. or 50 to buy. Okay? I suspect that you may have a very long pin bar appeared for dollar yen, pin bar, okay? Buy the pin bar. Right now, we have a small pin, but the pin is not big enough, okay? So, I will wait for the dollar yen to come back to the, if, if it can come back to this level, it will be best. Here, one one point thirty six. Okay, or you can take this week, one one point sixty one. So just pay attention to this level. But the recent price action is not so good for buyers. Okay, it's still kind of you know getting chopping off. Okay, and didn't actually have any kind of a positive price action yet. Okay, so wait for the price to further to test one more time, but fail to break through, and you want to buy. Okay. okay, let's look at a sterling yen since you ask. Okay, sterling yen, uh, what I'm thinking is it may further go down to 138.20. So you just mark this level. Okay, this level will be so important for the sterling yen. Look at left, look at left. Previous we have, uh, you know, resistance, break of resistance, right? And now become support. So uh, there will be some buyers at this zone. So by the low, by the low, and you can draw a small bat pattern here, small one. Okay, this is small bat pattern to to trade. Okay. However, in the daily chart we have a bigger one, right? Yeah, we have a bigger one. So this bigger one tells you, yeah, you may further further goes down. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not considered to buy the sterling yen this time. I will focus on buying the sterling dollar 
all the dollar yen. I, I maybe I won't choose to buy the sterling yen. Okay. Okay, one hour APCD and a zero point six one eight. Okay, let's look at it. Okay, uh, okay. I think Ken is mentioned this one, right? ABCD move, yeah, the completed. And uh, 0 0.618 it will be draw from the previous low here, all the way come here. Yep, you're right. This is the first time it, it test the 618 level. Okay, however, uh, it just, you know, because this one is tested that uh, in the kind of a scenario, in the environments that is a, in a very, very bearish move okay continue to breaks lower low okay so the sterling yen is still making lower low since it's in a bearish market uh, you don't want to buy it too early okay you see here still lower low so we must make wait for the price to test it again to form a low higher low okay so better wait for the price action at this here and wait for the price to shoot it back comes down, have a higher low, and breaks a higher high, okay? And then you can have some buying opportunities, okay? And look at the channel, still in the downtrend channel. So uh, don't buy the study yet, okay? Don't buy the study yet, yet, okay? Wait for either break the channel or wait for the second test, didn't break a lower low, have a higher low and buy, okay? But this is good. Price action, uh, price, uh, you know, Fibonacci level to, to watch at. Okay, but from daily chart, uh, I may consider a even lower place like 138, 138.13. Okay, that's what I feel because this is a bad pattern. A bad pattern, yeah, all the way we want them is 3.40. Okay, so uh, be cautious. Trade with care if you want to buy the sterling yen. Okay, trade with kind of you know you see a double bottom and or you see a bullish engulfing candle. Okay, trade with more confirmation if you can. Okay, <clears throat> okay. So lastly, I'm going to talk about the SPX 500. Okay, so SPX 500 have a very uh, breakout move, break the previous high and have a V shape. Okay, this is a V shape. Okay, and after the V-shape, it pulls back all the way again and just forms a very beautiful harmonic patterns, right? Yep. Okay, so uh, I'm going to, uh, I want to short the pattern because this pattern completed the same structural level, so gives me some kind of confirmation. So I would suspect that the S&P will still goes down, okay? Goes down because people who want to buy the high, okay, people who buy the high are trapped now, okay? You see all the novice traders buy, 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 okay? Buy into the resistance area and those people who bought at 2296 are trapped by this big red candle. So the price come down, push again, just like oil, okay? Push back again, you can sell. And 2295, that's a good place to short the previous structure here. We go to one hour chart that is a uh, very, see here, very nice pulls back structure to this structure, right? Okay, so now 2294.8 is becomes a resistance. And that is also a 618 level, okay? So we have a 2618 trade here, okay? This is a 2618 trade. Yep, so it may all the way goes by. Okay, so find some place to short the, the S&P. Okay, and let's talk about the natural gas. Okay, natural gas, uh, we short last time, remember? Where do we short, guys? 3.45, right? Yeah, so that is a decent short from this structure. Okay, so we we'll short here. Have a very nice gain. Pulls back another time, really didn't steal, you know, goes up and also forms a uh, kind of a cipher pattern here. Okay. Okay, where's my C point? Okay, here. Okay, we have a cipher pattern here, completed this level. So uh, for people who short 
about 3.45, that's very nice move because it breaks all the previous structure here. Okay, so continue to have a bearish trend. So I'm waiting for the natural gas to pull back to 3.1 and short gain to 2.7 maybe. That is my view to form this ABCD pattern. So for the natural gas, we may have a potential ABCD move here. Wow, that's just just so perfect. Okay, 2.7. Okay, that is a final target for the bears. Okay. Do you agree? The ABCD move and also the left, the previous structure here, 2.7. That is uh, uh, our expectation for the natural gas. Okay, so don't buy it first, okay? Wait for the pullback, sell the high, aim to 2.7, okay? All right, I think uh, we have covered most of the major currencies and also the future products. Okay, any questions? I may answer one of the questions if you have. Sterling Aussie, okay. Sterling Aussie, uh, as I mentioned, is uh, good to buy here because we have uh, support here. Good support and also our, our 618 level. All right, so look at price action here. If the price can goes back to 1.67, that is kind of a confirmation that this one finished the correction move and it may go up again. Okay, Euro yen. Well, Euro yen will be similar to the sterling yen. Okay, so Euro yen just goes, breaks this structure, it breaks the breaks down the structure, okay? So, uh, well, I'm going to short the Euro Yen when it pulls back to this level, 122.09, okay? This level is not what I'm looking for to short. I'm looking for to short the pullback, okay? A kind of a multiple toss, okay? Just have a well, there's so many harmonic patterns in the Euro Yen. Okay, a lot of uh, harmonic patterns. So yeah, that is a beautiful thing about harmonic patterns. Although it's a totally, uh, you know, different pairs or different move in Euro and dollar Yen separately, but in the Euro Yen, you can still find harmonic patterns to be work, to be working, okay? So Euro Yen, I want to short. I want to short the, short the Euro Yen, because I'm making a top. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So our end of today. Are we cool? Happy with your webinar. You finding something that you get some useful things. You got some help. All right. Gold going back. Yeah, that's good. Looking to five minute charts. What do we have? The gold is just pulling back to 618 level, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's okay to short the gold because pulling back to the structure here. It's good for short. It's a very nice trade. Yeah. You just you just risking maybe one point five dollar and you are going for a ten dollar move. Oh, your big move down too already, really. Wow. Wow, anyone sell at 53.80? <laughs> anyone sold it? You see here, that's such a nice trade, All right? This is so, it, this is so fantastic, fantastic patterns that I teach every time, okay? Kind of having minor support at the neckline, breaks down, find the price left to short, All right? Good, and I really uh, feel uh, so happy. A lot of my students mastering the skills that I teach and make apply it to their live markets, right? <clears throat> okay, yeah. So don't forget to uh, go to my uh, website here. 
okay? Because uh, I'm going to, uh, because all my training videos will be consolidated in this uh, homologasia.com, right? And uh, our, this webinar will be the, some special program for our students, all right? And also uh, you can just click for training videos and go to YouTube. It will just link to the, you to the YouTube uh, channel, okay, from my uh, own channel, okay? So I, I'm going to upload today's uh, video after we finish, okay? So yeah, and if you want to, if you want to trade like me, okay, you want to learn all the skills that I teach, right? Or this uh, our methodologies about the 2618, the ESP, entry, stop loss, profit, taking, okay? Fibonacci levels, foundation of technical analysis, structure trading, okay, breakout trade, how to trade breakout, how to trade 2618, right? How to how to identify the garlic pattern, ABCD pattern, bad pattern, a lot of things, harmonic pattern combination, right? Yep, and how to use money, good money management, and also the IPD, the optimal trading steps, right? Yeah, I register for my course, right? And learn from me, okay? I'm ready to teach you guys with all the skills that I master, so that you guys will have a more clear way to find good quality trade right <laughs> yeah you need to control emotion so one good thing that you want to control emotions is you look at the price you look at the chart okay don't look at your profit or your loss okay don't look at the money okay you just think that you just short you you just short zero points you one lot okay so whether you make money it doesn't make make a lot of difference for you you win you win maybe several bucks you lose you lose maybe it's some sense, okay, but focus on doing the right things. Are you doing the right things, right? Are you are you shorting the pullback or are you chasing the price, right? Or are you chasing the price higher? You just chased at here. You say, yeah, this is a breakout trade. I want to buy it higher here, and you are trapped, right? So don't never chase the price and don't over trade. Don't trade too many loss. Okay, don't even dream that, oh yeah, I want to be a millionaire in one trade. That's too risky for you because you want to, if you want to earn one million, how much risk you want to put, okay? So some kind of, emo the emotion actually comes from your loss size, really. If your loss size is too big, you will lose control because you care the, the profit or the losses so much because you don't have a, uh, the, controlability, uh, <coughs> the, capacity, the capacity to control big money yet. Okay, so trade with a uh, comfortable loss size. That's my suggestion. Okay. All right, guys. Yes, up to you. You can place a short limit or you can manually to key in the trade, wait for candle price action. Okay. Or you can do in the confirmation entry. Yeah, it's up to you. Three ways to do. And the limited order will give you the best best price. But whether you want the price, you have the price. The limit order, that's the beauty, okay? Candle price action, you have more so-called confirmation, but you may miss the best trade, uh, entry point. So there's always two sides of coin, okay? You want confirmation, you, you maybe lose some pips from the entry, okay? You want, find, you want uh, for the perfect entry level, you may not wait for the price action to, to form the structure, okay? So you can actually, uh, what I suggest, you create your order separately, okay? Is it true when dollar is strong, yen will weak? Yeah, it's true. You're right. When dollar is strong, all the major currency will be weak because the currency side is always, uh, you know, a division, right? It's A versus B, okay? A versus B, so it's, always sterling versus USD, dollar yen versus yen. It's always in the in a division, okay? So when USD goes up, of course, dollar yen will go up, which means yen will fall, yeah? Yeah, if you want to short the oil for another pullback, you may consider goes into the five minutes charts to find some ways. You see here, the structure, wow, that's what, okay, 53.56. That is a apply. That is a place that you want to wait for a short. Okay. Cool. Are we cool? Okay. Good. 
of NGD, right? But well, NGD we just are, are similar to the Aussie. Yeah. So you want to show the Kiwi, you can also show the Aussie. It makes uh, the 0 0.7325 to 0 0.7350 is the best zone entry. You see here, neckline, pulls back, short, pulls back, short. Okay. So the Kiwi you can short. As long as 0 0.7340 is not violated, you can short. And after the long term trend line is violated, yeah, that is a time for you to collect money, collect the profit. Okay. Because the whole, this whole uptrend may end at this point. Daily cipher. Yes, I, uh, I agree. I agree that it's just quite similar for the Aussie, but uh, it may not fulfill the requirements. Let me check. Yeah, it didn't really fulfill the requirement because the C point doesn't really touch the 1.272. Okay, so it is not a so perfect cipher, but uh, you can always use some other method like the structure trade here. See here, you find here support. Okay, support, support, support. Engulfing breaks down. Okay, wait for the pullback and short and short. It may just goes all the way to 0 0.7040. All right. Okay. So guys, yeah. End of this uh, live sessions. Okay. So follow me on the trading view. Follow me uh, from the website. Okay. Follow me from the Facebook group and invite your friends to the webinar if you like. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. And wish all the best for the trading. Plan your trade trade your plan. Yep. See you next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.